Hey everyone, this is Scott from CertMedia.com, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing a move that I made to Cloudways from SiteGround, and it's going to be kind of a Cloudways hosting review, and I'm going to go over why I migrated and if Cloudways is honestly the right host for you. So the, one of the reasons that I did move, and I created this on uh, the 31st of March, and this video is being recorded a little bit after that, about a week, and the reason that I moved was because, honestly, the cost of SiteGround hosting didn't make a lot of sense for what I was getting. Um, the one benefit that SiteGround has is that it uses traditional cPanel hosting, so you do get email hosting. I'm going to preface everything in this video that if you need an email account and you're not using something like G Suite or Office 365, Cloudways is not going to be a good option for you. You are going to need to pay for an additional separate service. Now keep in mind, I'm paying 10 bucks a month for my server and five bucks a month for the G Suite account. So it still works out to be about the same as SiteGround, but keep that in mind when you're looking at your options. So the good thing about SiteGround, uh, Cloudways in this instance over SiteGround was the cost. And I also get more flexibility with my resources. Um, I chose a server that was located in San Francisco, which worked out a lot better than the location of that SiteGround has it, which I believe is in Chicago. While that is centrally located, a lot of the visitors weren't coming from that area of the country. But taking that aside, I just gained a lot of flexibility and a lot of improvement that I didn't get on SiteGround. Um, I got a dedicated amount of resources, so I have a one gigabyte RAM server with 25 gigs of storage, SSD storage, and a one core CPU. So it's a VPS, but it's a managed VPS. Unlike on my SiteGround instance, I had 20 gigs of storage and they never really told you what you were allocated resource-wise. You basically were just locked into their system. One of the things about the Cloudways instance that I like is I have multiple applications set up and I'm actually gonna be showing in future videos cool tutorials on how to set up the Redis cache and how to configure Varnish for your website. Because these are things that you can't do on SiteGround that actually led to me getting better performance on my website. My TTFB, when you bypassed my Cloudflare, is about 100 milliseconds faster, give or take, on average compared to SiteGround, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it is a nice bonus to have, especially because I have eight applications installed on this server, one of which is the staging site that I will be using for other videos. And it makes it super easy to deploy applications as opposed to the SiteGround interface. Keep in mind that if you're on the newer SiteGround interface, it may be, you may have to get used to it, but it's no, in, I'm not trying to say that it's bad. So you go on to SiteGround, you have the servers list, which is all these servers that you have set up. Mine is the DigitalOcean instance. And then if you click over here, you get a list of your applications. Applications are your WordPress accounts and so on and so forth. If you click over here on the Cert Media staging, it tells you general info and you can access it via a direct URL. This is one thing that I liked about the Cloudways instance over SiteGround. I'm able to move my DNS over to the, to the uh, Cloudflare instance that I have. So on my Cloudflare account, all my domains are pointed there for the name servers. If I wanted to do the same thing on SiteGround, I have a few hurdles that I had to jump through to get certain features to work. If you wanted to set up a staging account, well, you had to make sure that you added the domain in. If you were trying to set it up via name servers to Cloudflare, you had to go in and manually add it. And this was a headache for me because while my name servers were pointed at SiteGround, I oftentimes would do DNS tests of the response time. And it seemed like I would just get faster performance on the Cloudflare DNS for another website that I had. So moving it to there alleviated that issue, but it introduced the issue of, of when I spun up staging servers and I wanted it staging staging4.certmedia.com or staging5, I had to constantly go into my Cloudflare account to add the records. The good thing about this is I can set up the, the staging domains on a Cloudways apps domain. And then if I don't need the staging instance anymore, I just delete it and I don't have to worry about that. It just removed a level of headache with the staging tool that was built in to SiteGround and I really appreciated that. So the flexible abilities that I get with the staging setup was something that I really liked. I also enjoy the user interface over the SiteGround because it allows me to make changes easier on a per application basis. So if I wanna add a cron job, I can easily do so by going here and setting up a cron job at an interval and it's a very simple user interface. 
in the site ground, you have to go to the C panel. And if you're on the new interface, you have to find their own tool. It just wasn't a really solid way for me to do it. The other thing that I have is I back up my files and I back up my database off site. And the reason I do that is to save on resources and I put them on a Amazon hosted instance and I have a software that goes through and does it for me. But the thing that I ran into is <laughs> doing it on SiteGround is I had to whitelist IP addresses constantly for the database access. Now that is a good thing, but doing it, I had to end up doing it on applications and I ran into issues with FTP accounts on there. The good thing about here is I have a master set of credentials that I can give to my software to go ahead and export the database and export the files and upload them to my Amazon Cloud instance. That way everything gets backed up and it's actually faster now. Um, previously, because I would have a workaround to do it via the via standard PHP, and a backup of all my sites could take, let's just say an hour for a site. Now it takes five minutes, 10 minutes at the most, and it's really quick. And my sites aren't particularly large. I try to keep them very thin. And once you actually look at the total resource usage, I'm using, let's see, probably half of my disk space, and that's with the server I just spun up, half of my RAM usage, and that's after I spun up, this is uh, because I just spun up this instance recently, and that would go down. And I'm only using 11 gigs of bandwidth since this month started. Most of it was in the form of uploading to Cloudways. So the, I guess the question that you're going to have is, is Cloudways right for you? From a strictly budget point of view, it's really enticing, and that's why I primarily moved. The performance is also on par, and if not better than a lot of the competition. It's also a managed platform. So this isn't me going out and installing server hardware on a VPS somewhere and managing it myself. There is support and all of that, and I'm getting, I'm paying 10 bucks a month for this instance. So my hosting costs drop from 240 a year all the way down to $10 for an extra five gigs of storage, more dedicated resources, and honestly, just better performance. Now, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, if you're somebody who needs email hosting and you don't wanna pay for G Suite or Office 365, you're going to need a cPanel-based host because you're not able to run an email hosting via Cloudways. I wouldn't recommend doing that in the first place, but you're not able to do it on Cloudways. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Um, I will be making future videos for various tips, tricks, and other additions to Cloudways and what I've managed to work out to further improve your performance. Um, that being said, if you do use SiteGround and you're not wanting to move, there's not really a necessary reason to move unless you just wanna save the money. SiteGround is still a great host and it's one of the two hosts that I recommend. It just so happens that I've jumped, shipped, and got on Cloudways. If you have any specific questions about your application or whether you think you should move to Cloudways, you can ask in the comments below and I'll try to give you as best insight as I can. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.